What is Morgan Stanley's vision of the implementation of AI? So first of all, I think you have to start with what we believe the value proposition for financial advice is, and that's a, a trusted relationship between financial advisors and their clients. And we've done extensive analysis, and even in 2018, people still want to talk to their financial advisor. It's actually engagement is the, is the number one driver of outcomes. So the question really becomes, how do we make that financial advisor better at what they do? How do we augment their processes uh, and their, their, their capabilities to deliver the best advice to every single advisor in their book in, in, in a really scalable and efficient way. And artificial intelligence does specific things that are very unique to technology that, that really help advisors do that uh, in, in a very, very differentiated way. So then how does the rise of AI impact hiring? Do you need to hire less financial advisors in the future? Is there more revenue per advisor that you have? So I would say that AI, first of all, makes us have to hire more data scientists. Uh, that's number one, and there's obviously terrific opportunities. But we just, we just fundamentally disagree with the proposition that human, uh, humans are going to go away as a result of the, the technology. Uh, and I think that this, this concept of comparing the human versus the machine, it's just a flawed choice. Humans do things that ultimately humans do very in, in really powerful ways, and technology does things in very technical and capable ways. And the question is, how do you marry those two things together? And again, what, going back to the value proposition, our advisors, when they're talking with their clients, is where we add values. And the more we can do that, the more value we're going to create. And this is about creating better synergies between those relationships as opposed to trying to eliminate all human thought from the process. But even if you're hiring more data scientists, does that mean you're hiring more advi financial advisors as well or less? I think, we're, I, I mean, listen, I don't know what the future is in terms of the actual numbers. I think the real focus is not whether we hire more financial advisors. Our focus right now is how do we get our advisors to deliver the best advice to their clients? And we think that that's a long-term value proposition. What are the biggest risks in using AI? not the least of which is security. Well, listen, I think, I think people are ultimately concerned about the transparency of the decision making, right? And I think these algorithms do a lot of math behind the scenes, and I think what we have found is that it's, it's equally important not just to deliver good ideas, but it's also important to deliver the transparency on why those ideas are delivered to, to the financial advisor and giving them the, the reasoning behind it as opposed to just sort of presenting them a bunch of data points that says, here's what you should talk about today. So Based on your research so far, will we see better returns as a result of AI, and how much better? Well, I, listen, we, we can't predict uh, future returns. I think that's a very difficult thing to do in the marketplace. But, but I think AI has been around now for AI has been around a long years. time. And, I, and listen, I think it's also important to sort of talk about where AI has limitations, right? You know, part of the challenge of, of machine learning and artificial intelligence is it's as good as the predictive value of the historical data you have. And much of what investing about is about identifying secular trends in the marketplace. and. If, if it hasn't happened in the past, the technology is actually not going to pick that up and not going to predict it, which is why the investment process still is going to require people to come to work in the morning and talk about what's going on in the markets and, and, think, and think ahead. So how is the way Morgan Stanley is doing it better than the way Betterment is doing it or Wealthfront? Well, so first of all, we advice and, and investing is just one part of the equation. You know, what we're trying to do is deliver the full services of ideas and, and, cap, and investment capital. And that includes talking to clients about dealing with parents with early stage dementia and figuring out when their child turns 16 and offering them help around uh, opportunities to uh, insurance opportunities and safe driver courses and things like that. Like We're about the entire investment process and if you think about what a financial advisor does is they come into work in the morning and they ask the fundamental question, who do I engage today and what do I engage about? We have millions of things that are happening in the marketplace every single day and what the AI allows us to do is number one, figure out uh, and help the advisor figure out what best to engage that client on. And number two, using machine learning, figure out what the client's responding to. Everybody is different. This is not about offering you something similar to people that look and, 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 and feel like you in a certain zip code. This is about delivering advice for you. And the technology really allows us to scale those opportunities in a very, very differentiated way that we've never been able to do before. There's been a f trend towards fee compression. Will fees go down as a result of it? Listen, I think, I think if we can continue to offer value to our clients, right, which is really the ultimate uh, question, uh, I actually don't believe that to be true. I think that as long as we're offering differentiated advice that, uh, that clients value, I think they're going to continue to come to us. And I think like this whole concept that we're trying to compete with a machine, we're just trying to make people better at what they do and continue to engage clients around these complex issues. And to be clear, the AI is very, very far away from being able to talk to you about what to do with a child that was just born with, uh, with autism, right? Those are very, very unique situations, and that's so much of what the financial advisor is delivering to their clients. Today. So when do you see a, a mass adoption from a client's perspective? 
Well, we already, I mean, our financial advisors, we've deployed our, our uh, alternative uh, investment, um, or our artificial intelligence platform to our 16,000 financial advisors, we've been at for six months, and they're at it every single day. Adoption rates are really, really high because they see it as an, as an augmentation to their business, um, not, a, not a replication of it.